Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning to you. Anywhere you are watching this video, if it is your first time and you like what we do here in Linda's TV show, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. This will enable you to know when we post a new video. Here we react to all forms of videos. We inform, educate the members of the public about happening in the globe, especially in Nigeria. My great people and wonderful people of Biafra, I greet you all. And I seize this opportunity to put a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, all the content here do not and will not in any way promote misleading information, hate speech, or violence. We are only here to educate, inform, and we react to all forms of videos. YouTube, I appreciate you for creating this wonderful platform. If not for this platform, I don't know what we would have done. So thank you for creating and allowing us to use your platform to disseminate information to the members of the public. So my people, you guys saw how the zoo and judge disgraced themselves yesterday. There was a statement Mazin and the Kano made. I'm going to look for the video. I will put it here before you watch other videos. Please take your time and watch these videos that I am going to, you know, display here. Uh, the Prime Minister State of the Nation, um, Barrister Lawyer Jimako's uh, speech after Mazin and a lot of videos. Just take your time to listen to it. But I want to point out something. During the period when Mazin and the Khan was newly extraordinary rendition to Nigeria, there was a statement made by Malami. He said that he is going to watch himself quite slowly. And if you listen to the voice or the message of Mazin and the Khan, Mazin and the Khan said that they are keeping him there until when they find that that he is about to buy, that is when they will tell him Oya go, so that if he come out today, he will buy tomorrow. They have tried all means to buy him, but they couldn't. And if they see him waxing, they will be fortifying. There was a time you will hear him speak that they brought somebody who is not even a medical practitioner to come administer treatment. Aromer. Biafrans, to me now, it looks, I know we need Biafran, but I want Mazin and the Kano to be there for us. Madden and the Kano have sacrificed a lot. And believe you me, it is the grace of God that is preserving him. The grace of God is upon Mazin and the Kano. He, he, what he said, he have a heart failure. Somebody who has heart issue and is not taking proper medication, is not even eating good food, is not even in a, a better environment. If it is not the grace of Chuko Kika Biyama, oh God, please preserve your son preserve mazin and the candle for us let this be the greatest gift you give to us i want him to be alive to see the actualization of what he sacrificed everything including his own life for god this is my prayer i was so happy so joyous to hear his voice yesterday in fact Every other thing they are saying in that course, the only thing that I enjoyed that made me happy was to hear Mazen Nandi Kano to still see and hear that he is still remaining resolute, that that lion voice in him is still in him. 
person now they can't have not delay in any form he is still whom he is and a lot of people is trying to twist his statement a lot of people are trying to twist his statement because um they are trying to fight uh the prime minister somebody came to my comment section yesterday to ask me are you saying that uh simon Epa is innocent the word of god tell us that we shouldn't judge if you cannot see good things bad things will keep on coming to you if it is not the esn that mazina the can created believe you me the biafran land would have been taken by now if it is not the prime minister Mazina Dekano's name, Biafra Restoration, would have been forgotten. Let me tell you this. So let's listen to this video and we come to the comment section. You are free to criticize, contribute, interact, listen, criticize with fat. You can contribute, you can do anything, but let us do it uh, constructively so that, no, that but, nobody will be offended at the last. Thank you. Uh, uh, the court is also entitled to change its mind as well, <laughs> depending on the strength of the argument. Thank so you. we hope that they change their mind. They are using it to do experiments against like us. Exactly. I don't so see. Um, there is no way we're going to allow that to happen. Is My rights must be respected. Is important. My right to fair hearing must be observed and paid on the standard. You were talking about your health condition. What exactly is wrong with you, sir? Health I have congenital heart failure. Congestive heart failure is called. From the medication, you can tell. So they're basically trying to keep me alive. So that when, when they calculate that, that I'm about to give up, that my heart is about to pack up, they will now say go. So when I go outside, I will die outside. That's what they're trying to do. The medications they've been giving to you yes. has not been working. It's not, it's not working. If it's working, why would I have all these uh, lumps underneath my... And he, ha and he has written a petition to the Nigerian Medical uh, uh -huh. Association. We had a good one, quack doctor, somebody who's not a doctor to treat him. To come and try and treat mm. him. The doctor now, they, have no they don't know what they're doing. And they know they don't know what they're doing. Or else, why would I have this? As long as it <coughs> remains in DSS custody, I would die. There will be no trial. So not to your application. He's um, seeking for a non-custodial um, um, arrangement yeah. by the court. You said because house arrest. Exactly. Yes. I don't mind house arrest because I'll defeat them. In this court, I'll defeat the government of Nigeria. Yeah. The whole world will see it. Where is the um, feasible felon? Where is it? It's All gone. these years, John, this has happened. Feasible trees in trees in trees. What is yeah. trees in today? It's gone. Yeah. In some way, this um, <laughs> tourism charge will. The state of Biafra, State of the Union address today, as well. Address Biafra people on current affairs, the progress, challenges, if any, we've had since the last State of the Union address. Fellow Biafran citizens all over the world both in the homeland and in exile. I bring to you today a liberation message. This day we've seen again that the terrorist state, Nigeria, the lawless state, the failed and collapsed entity called Nigeria has failed and continue to fail in the judiciary. The judiciary of Nigeria is not the hope of a common man. That has been proven today from the court where Mazenam the Kano was denied bail. This is not what we have come to do today, but it is very important that we remind our people, like we have said before, Mazenam the Kano will be released in a historic manner. The key to his freedom lies in our palm. My fellow Biafran, how far we have gone 
as a government will surprise many of you, especially those who never believe that Biafra will emerge as a nation. In 1960s, Biafra incurred the enmity of the major world powers, the former colonial power, Great Britain, and even the era of the Organization of Africa Unity. Biafra did meet the test of the statehood under the criteria of the 1933 Montevideo Convention on the right and duties of state. These criteria are not limited to population, government, the ability to enter into foreign relations and control of territory. Biafra case were different. However, almost all international laws and their sources try to categorize Biafra as a footnote and a failed attempt at secession or even branded them as rebellion rather than a recognized state that once existed and brutally conquered. Today, the power that be depriving Biafra people the freedom they merited has succeeded in planting hatred, greed among Biafrans, especially those that represent Nigeria within Biafra territory. Many of those believe that Biafra is dead. But today, we have proven them wrong. That out of greed, wickedness, jealousy, and selfishness, they succumb to the narrative of the power that corrupted Nigeria. And today they sing with one voice that Biafra is dead. We have disappointed them. The fact remains that Biafra was the first African post-colonial state in that it was not based on some former administrative unit of imperialism. Fellow Biafrans, in March, stroke April 2023, Biafra restored its exile government, which was ratified by the adoption of the Health Declaration of 2023 and Biafra Charter. The restoration of the Biafra Republic government in exile and the Helsinki Declaration has reaffirmed the independence of Biafra. When the Biafra Nigeria genocidal war ended in 1970, many of those who fought the war fled into exile. In 1999, the Biafra agitation resurfaced again. In 2007, a new exile government was formed, it was collapsed, remained dormant. In 2023, 2023, we restored 
the Biafra exile government. I want you to understand today that whatever the government has done is in accordance with international law. The definitive goals and the purpose of the Biafra Republic government in exile have been made public both in the media and in the print media and also have been communicated to many countries of the world. Our goals and our purpose is to secure the freedom and liberty of the Biafra people. Our goal and objectives to represent the sovereignty and the interests of the Biafra throughout the world. The objective and purpose of the Biafra Republic government in exile is to engage in international relationship and diplomacy with the government, state, nations, and organizations. The objectives and the purpose and goals of the Biafra Republic government in exile is to organize for the security of the people of Biafra, their properties and land, and the people that inhabit every territorial part of Biafra, of Biafra land. Our goals remain to obtain diplomatic recognitions for the sovereign state of Biafra. The Biafra Republic government in exile goals, objective, and purpose is to organize the negotiation of trade and other economic activities on behalf of the people of Biafra. My fellow citizens all over the world, in order to achieve these goals, objective, and purpose, we have created the 40th state of the United States of Biafra in the homeland. We have activated the de facto government of Biafra in the homeland. We have established the bank of Biafra. We have established the Biafra digital currency, among other departments and other governmental institutions, in accordance with the international law, especially in 1933 of Montevideo Convention. It is also not unusual for there to be a period of years between exile and declaration of an exile government. We have had similar cases like that of the de facto Republic of Serbia. They went into exile in 1997. And the government was declared in 2005. And the case of the Turkestan Republic, the gap is far longer with the exile government in 1949 and the declaration only in 2004. My fellow citizens, domiciled all over the world, fellow Biafrans and friends, well wishers today, a legitimate government is the one that flows from a recognized state as opposed to so many so called government in exile. That is in reality a liberation movement. The good news today is that the Biafra Republic government in exile status has gone beyond a liberation movement 
under international law. As a result of the recognition from five different countries in Africa, which has never been withdrawn by those countries that recognized Biafra. This particular recognition made the status of the Biafra Republic government in exile not just a liberation movement, but a legitimate and a recognized government with a, st a special status under international law. My fellow Biafrans, many experts on international law have opined that for an authority in exile to qualify as a government in international law, there are criterions which the government must must meet and fulfill. We believe the Biafra Republic government in exile has met all those requirements. And I would like to take us a little bit on history. It is very imperative. Let's look at the precedence of history of government in exile. My fellow citizens, there are indeed presidents for government that achieve sovereignty during times of strife, obtained limited international recognition, went into exile, and were succeeded by declared exile government, and then eventually become independent and member state of the United Nations. I will take you to a journey of Slovakia. Slovakia was an independent state from 1939 to 1945. Slovakia was recognized by 29 different countries during that time. Following Slovakia's reintegration with Czechoslovakia in 1945, the former interior minister of Slovakia, Dukanski set up a government in exile in 1945, in 1947, which went through several transformations, just like the Biafra people today. As an exile government, the Liberation Committee was part of the Slovakia exile government, the Liberation Council and finally, the Slovak Congress, all advocating for independence, just like you have in the Biafra today. The same people, ironically, who went through this process today will tell you how Biafrans are not united because we have different groups fighting for the same goal, which is the freedom of Biafra. In 1992, Independence was achieved by the legislation when Czechoslovakia ceased to exist. Slovakia in 1938 to 1945 was viewed by the Allied nation as a German puppet state. The various Slovakian exile government and committee were not recognized by any single country. Though, doubtably, many doubted whether they are going to have their independence, but they achieved some sponsorship from the United States. That was during the Cold War. My fellow Biafrans, it is very imperative that you know the history of this world. How many people that you look up to today, many nations that you look up to today, they were there in the past. I will then take you to a history, the journey to Ukraine. 
Ukraine is again going through the second phase, the most brutal phase in the history of mankind. Ukraine was an independent state from 1917 to 1922 and was recognized by at least 18 countries, including the Holy See, Russia, Germany, Turkey, and Austria. The head of the government, Simon Petluria, went on exile, declared an exile government, and was assassinated in 1926 in Paris by a Soviet agent when there was Soviet Union. In, 19 to, in 1941, an independent state of Ukraine was briefly, briefly declared and then suppressed by Germany. Germany, not Russia. The unrecognized government in exile persisted until Ukraine again became an independent state in 1991. From 1941 to 1991, Ukraine again became an independent state. The Ukrainian government, under the former president, Chochenko, over the protest of pro-Russian element, recognized exile leaders and the 1917 and 41 government as predecessors and precursors to the current state. The trend of Ukraine nationalism has further intensified under the present regime. Today, Ukraine is at war of independence again. I want you to understand the history in this world. Every nation have undergone a very, very terrible situation from 1941 to 1991. My fellow Biafrans, if you do not understand history, you will not be a good revolutionist. You can never understand how you are going to fight for the liberation of your people. This is what the Biafra government is doing because we know the history. Not only that we know the history, we know our right. I want to take you to a journey to another nation called Croatia. Croatia achieved independent from 1941 to 1945. I want you to understand that the countries I am mentioning today did not actually have their independence completely from the beginning. Rather, they went through the same process with Biafra. Biafra had independence from 1967 to 1970. Croatia had independence from 1941 to 1945. During the excesses of the Second World War, when, when secessionist exile assumed leadership of the country upon fall of Yugoslavia to the axis of power. Like Slovakia, many countries considered Croatia as a puppet state, yet it was recognized by not only the axis state but also by neutral Spain. Following the end of the war, an exile government was declared in 1951 by the former leader of Croatia, Ante Pavelic, and his surviving government ministers. In 1956, the exile government became a liberation movement and was instrumental in the eventual independence of Croatia from Yugoslavia in 1991. I want you to look and check the time frame when this country succeeded after everything they have done. My fellow Biafra, Biafra is not going to be exceptional. We are not going to be an exception. 
our right will not be exempted. Our freedom will not be exempted. We will get our freedom just like Croatia, Slovakia, Ukraine, and many more. Today, the message I brought to Biafra people is a liberation message. We have breaking the camera's back. The jinx holding Biafra for decades is broken. My fellow citizens of Biafra, take a refuge in exile, and those of you that are privileged to be in the homeland, the faculty of government today, going through the process and the achievement of the Biafra government today, I wish to officially announce the unveiling of the Biafra Bank, officially Bank of Biafra. And also announcing the launching of the Biafra coin, the digital currency, a gemma, the USBT. We made a promise to Biafra people that the Biafra coin called USBT will be equal to one dollar. The process of this is not something that is very difficult to understand. Many of you back home already know what is cryptocurrency. You only need a Metamax to be able to benefit from the Biafra Bank and Biafra coin. My fellow Biafran, Restoring the Biafra government in exile, the next phase is to go forward to restore the Biafra government and independent state of Biafra after the result of the from the ongoing self referendum. I would like to remind every one of you that you have enough to benefit from the Biafra Bank, from the Bank of Biafra, especially using the digital currency, Biafra coin. That is what they call stake, staking. The staking, the Biafra, the Bank of Biafra offers 18% interest in staking. While Many platform offers you, for example, five as low as five percent. The Bank of Biafra is offering Biafra people eighteen percent, and what it means is that as Naira has collapsed and crashed, the government of Biafra has provided an alternative to Biafra people, so you do not leave your money in Naira. As you buy Biafra coin, your money becomes stable. Any day you want to withdraw your money, you get your money withdrawn through the crypto system. For those of you who already are very conversant with cryptocurrency, you already know what to do by downloading a Metamax. 
from Metamax, you will have access to Biafra Bank. We have broken the jinx. The camel's back is broken. My fellow Biafrans, to cap with the progress we've made so far, Biafra Republic Government in Exile Cabinet met yesterday and voted for the establishment of the Ministry of Aviation of the United States of Biafra. I hereby wish to officially announce to the Biafra people the establishment of the Biafra Ministry of Aviation. Yesterday, the ministerial nominee to head the Ministry of Aviation was also voted and confirmed by the cabinet. Well experienced pilot, a Biafran with many, many miles of flight, with experience in aviation industry, will be heading the Ministry of Aviation of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile. And may I introduce to Biafra people the name of the new Minister of Aviation of Biafra, Chidera Okeoma, has been appointed as the Minister of Aviation of the United States of Biafra. A very promising young Biafra who has distinguished himself honorably in his field of endeavor. My fellow Biafra, the achievement of this government within just one and a half year is becoming a mystery. But because Biafra people have suffered for decades and God has decided to reward your suffering, your subjugation with this present government of Biafra that is taking you home to freedom. My fellow Biafran, as you all know, the Biafra Ministry of Justice were established and a new minister also has been appointed. Well experienced young Biafran, very young lady, in the name of Jane Iwunze. Jane Iwunze has been appointed, confirmed by the cabinet as the Minister of Justice. Fellow Biafrans, as we are making this progress, there are a lot of sacrifice behind the scene. And the only thing you see is the result. I want to also use this opportunity to announce as we are planning ahead of time to the Helsinki Convention of the Declaration of Restoration of Independence State of Biafra later this year, a committee called Helsinki Convention or Finland Convention Sponsorship Committee has been formed. The sponsorship committee have the Minister of Finance, Mazi Oge Inkre, as a member and the coordinator, Mazi Emma Madoabum, as a member of the sponsorship committee, Mazi Maxwell Dede, as a member 
of the sponsorship committee Mwada Amaka Baby Nadozie as a member of the sponsorship committee Dr. Sam the Minister of Health as a member of the sponsorship committee Dr. Oforma member of the health department as a member of the sponsorship committee Harry as a member of the sponsorship committee Mazi Ohimri from South Africa as a member of the sponsorship committee fellow Biafrans opportunity is still knocking at your own door the committee is still welcoming those interested in sponsoring being part of the sponsorship of the biafra finland convention 2024. my fellow biafra as you all know we plan ahead of time just like we do in the western world on this note the declaration drafting committee of the biafra finland convention 2024 will be headed by dr bryson okoma dr bryson is the head of economic viability team of the biafra republic government in exile there are many people from all over biafra land from over 40 states of the United States of Biafra that will be part of the drafting committee, the declaration drafting committee. You all will be added gradually to the committee headed by Dr. Bryson Okeoma. My fellow Biafrans, this week we are mourning. Our land were invaded, our people were killed and butchered in Delta, in Old Delta State, and in Bayelsa by the terrorist state of Nigeria, by the state sponsor terrorist called Nigeria Army. They invaded a community, killed, burned, destroyed houses and properties. Of innocent people. The Biafra government, we are mourning the lost ones. Our condolences goes to the family who have lost their loved one in the hand of Nigeria. We condemn this attack Diversion and genocide against our people, a targeted ethnic cleansing in strongest term. Condemning is not enough. Biafra people will revenge the killing in Delta and Bayosa. This is the reason we've made sure that the terrorist Boko Haram controlled Nigeria army will not be welcome in Biafra territory. And this has further validated our fear and our position. First, they came unprovoked and provoked the people of Biafra. They killed. And when the people retaliated, they lost some people and it becomes an issue. Nobody is asking question. What transpired? What were the military doing in a peaceful community? Nobody asked those questions. They went and killed because they believe that those people in the area probably are telling them that they are not part of Biafra. I am telling you today, the area where these people were killed, where the military killed women and children in Delta is part of Biafra. That place is under Biafra de facto government. And for that reason, we will give hell to the killers of Biafra people.
Like I said, it is not enough to condemn the killings because this killing has been going on for decades. But the condemnation will come with action from the Biafra side. The action will continue to make sure anywhere you see anybody wearing army uniform and carrying gun, the person is a terrorist. You don't have any reason to wear Nigeria army uniform in Biafra territory. Going forward, we have made this proclamation in the past, but believe me, the more daisies we see in this struggle, the more ruthless we become in protecting and defending our land. Therefore, in order to mourn our people and register our sadness and anger, on the 29th day of this month, of March 2024, the entire Biafra land will be under lock and key. From Delta to Bayelsa, every road leading to these communities, every road leading to this state will be shut down. We will use this day to mourn the barbarism, the genocide, and ethnic cleansing sponsored by the Nigeria state as ordered by the drug lord called the president. We will tell them, that Biafra you see yesterday is not the Biafra you see today. The government has come to stay and is taking responsibility to make sure that those who kill our citizens are dealt with decisively. On the 29th of March, which is Friday, everywhere will be shut down. I will use the opportunity to call those strong head Biafrans to not fall a victim of the same killers who will be on the rampage on that 29th to look for who to kill in order to blame Simon Ekma. If you get hit by them, we will not pity you. Best thing is proud of. They are terrorists. It could have been you. It could have been your community. It could have been your village. So because it is not your village this time, does not mean it is not going to be, it's going to be your village next, next day. It may be you the next day. It may be you next week. We must begin to speak in the very strongest term whenever this barbarism and ethnic cleansing in the name of whatever occurs and happens to us. We will fight in unison in as much as we continue to delegitimize Nigeria in Biafra territory. And they continue to tell you, why are you following Biafra today? None of those people will talk on your behalf. None of those people will even pity the communities that have been raised down by the government who ought to have been protecting them, if there are. But as a government, we have stepped up to live up to that expectation and our responsibility. What we are not going to do is to start rebuilding your communities. We can never do it under Nigeria. We are not going to rebuild anything under Nigeria. But in an independent state of Biafra, we will rebuild your cities and your communities to international standard. My fellow Biafrans, more stringent measures, the language 
that have seen the so, enemy cry will come. So this is the next one combo. Our target is to make sure that Nigeria representative, that terrorist state representative in Biafra territory will continue to cry. They will cry and cry until the declaration of the restoration of independent state of Biafra. My fellow citizens of Biafra, after this broadcast, the website of the Bank of Biafra will be unveiled. May God bless you. May God bless Biafra. Biafra Liberation Army. Airborne! Airborne! The land of Biafra must be protected. Our women and children must be protected. The ethnic cleansing must end. We must make sure that those who come to our land to kill will never live to tell the story. What we do is enshrined under international law, self-defense. As we continue to pursue our freedom diplomatically, politically, and otherwise, we must be ready to defend our land with our guns and bullets. May God bless Biafra. May God bless you. Wonderful people, as we are finished watching this interesting video, please, I want to see your comment, your contribution, your opinion in the comment section. Like I said earlier, let us do it constructively. Tell me what you think about this uh, video that you have just watched and also about the platform. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please remember to subscribe, put on your notification bell, share this video and remain Bless.